have only one thought, the royal wedding. And from Buckingham Palace, the king and queen drive to Westminster Abbey, where the Duke of Kent is to be married to Princess Marina of Greece. Along the crowded line of route, their majesties are accompanied by a sovereign's escort of lifeguards. In White Hall, the dismal November day strikingly contrasts with the glittering procession. coach approaches Westminster Abbey. This stately church, witness of eight centuries of English history, today sees one more chapter written in the annals of British royalty. At the west door, the king and queen are received by the dean. Meanwhile, from St. James's Palace, His Royal Highness the Bridegroom, with the captain's escort of lifeguards, drives with the Prince of Wales and the Duke of York. Never was it better demonstrated that all the world loves a lover than by the enthusiastic reception of the Duke. The Prince of Wales is quickly out, and after the Duke of York, the bridegroom enters the abbey where he will await his bride. And now Princess Marina, radiant and lovely, leaves Buckingham Palace with her father, Prince Nicholas. This charming princess, so soon to be united to our royal house, has already won the affection of her adopted country. by turning their mirrors into periscopes. The bells ring out, and the Abbey precincts echo a roar of cheers as Her Royal Highness the Bride arrives. historic abbey the ceremony proceeds and from this day henceforth Princess Marina becomes the wife of the Duke of Kent. This unique picture, the only one the authorities would permit, shows the Duke and Princess being joined together in holy matrimony. Their majesties are on the right listening to the solemn words of the Archbishop of Canterbury. Man and wife, the Duke and Duchess leave the abbey for the return drive to Buckingham Palace. The route is now being taken. Their Royal Highness is graciously wishing to appear before as many people as possible. If both ladies want to use it, they'll have to agree which is the right way up. The coach now turns into Piccadilly, and the great thoroughfare is jammed tight with excited onlookers. The royal couple will return to the palace by way of Constitution Hill.
Outside the famous residence of England's kings, a great multitude is gathered to welcome them. moment arrives when on a balcony the Duke and his bride appear before the great assembly. Margaret Rose, baby daughter of the Duke of York, to wave to the crowd. Rarely, if ever, has the camera portrayed so intimate a scene of British royalty. Britain wishes long life and happiness to the Duke of Kent and his lovely bride. Theirs is a union of hearts. The splendid pageantry of the royal marriage has set the seal upon a high romance. 